welcome to my channel my name is alexis and this is my first video on my channel so my first video will be consisting of how i found out i was pregnant at the age 13 years old mind you i am in my car i do have my kids back there um i'm waiting to get ready to take my daughter to school and that's the one that i'm gonna be talking about how i got pregnant so anyways if you would like to find out then just keep on watching okay while well, it all started around october November and of the year 2010 so I was feeling a little sick I had been feeling sick for about a week or two I was nauseated I, w I didn't have an appetite I always wanted to cry and I'm not one that usually cries in front of people I like to be by myself when I cry so me crying like that like always emotional was kind of weird I had a stuffy nose I did have symptoms of the flu but it just was more to that. So I was complaining to my mom. I didn't want to go to school. I told my baby's father, like, something's wrong. Either I'm sick or something, but I need medicine. I need something. So she just was like, she thought I had the flu too. I was only 13. She didn't really think nothing of it. She didn't know my baby's father. My baby's father did come over a lot. She really did like him a lot. He was 13 also. So she was like, I'm going to make you an appointment for your doctors and we'll see what's it, what it is. And if you need medicine, then we'll get you medicine and you get better so you can start going to school again. So I was like, right. So we had went to my appointment. They, I had to pee in a cup. And when they came back, I guess they had tested it for pregnancy. So when they had came back, the doctor had walked in and was like, it's positive. We did not know he had took a pregnancy test. We did not know he did anything. So, he, my mom was like, what do you mean it's positive? What's positive? She's already freaking out. She's already shaky. She had to sit down. And the doctor was like, ma'am, the pregnancy test is positive. Your daughter is pregnant. He, he had to grab my mom and, like, hold her because he sees how shocked she was and how, like, she was just had a mental breakdown right there. So... I did smile, not because I was happy, not because I was laughing at the fact that I was pregnant, but because I was nervous. And when I'm nervous, I do tend to laugh and I do tend to smile a lot to where people think I'm laughing at them. Well, no, that wasn't the case. I did feel, ba I did feel bad for my mom and I did feel like I disappointed her a lot. But there was really nothing I could do. We don't believe in abortions, and neither do my baby's father. So, she, they, from I guess from the pain I did have, because I did have a lot of abdominal pain especially in the upper left like right under my rib i had a lot of pain so they were like they said it's better if you go to the emergency room arrowhead hospital to get checked because it might be a two baby sorry my kids are making noise but it might be a two baby so i did go to the hospital right after well first i went to go eat but like I was saying, we did go eat. We went to eat at KFC. And then from KFC, we were, no one really had an appetite because everyone was, like, so shocked still. So what we did was what we did was mainly just sit there and talk. Oh, sorry. I am sick right now. But this time I'm not pregnant. I am just sick. So anyways, from there we had went to Arrowhead Hospital, the emergency room. So mind you, we had to sit there for a while. So anyways, well, as they called my name, they had took a pregnancy test. Also the same way with my PA sample. But this one came back negative. They took two and they came back negative. Negative. So they weren't really sure. They were like, oh, well, maybe theirs were more accurate and ours didn't work. So let's just take your blood. And that's very accurate. So accurate. 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 Something like that. So... They took my blood. We waited for about an hour, two hours to get my results. My results came back. They called my name and they said, yes, you are pregnant. So they found out I was pregnant. We all already knew I was pregnant. So the main thing we went there was for to see if it was a tube baby. So we did go to take an ultrasound. They, they took me right back and they took an ultrasound. My baby was not a tube baby. She is here. She it was not a tube baby. I found out I was five weeks at that time. It was real little. I just see the baby did have a heartbeat. So they were like, wow, congratulations. That's all we can say is congratulations. 
So we had left. I had my next appointment with the like I think it was four weeks from there. I'm not pretty sure. I don't really remember. So I was five weeks pregnant. Well, all this had happened so late. It was almost gonna be midnight. My mom still said, "Call your neighbor's father. Tell him and his mom to come over to the house because we need to talk." So by the time I got home, it was midnight. I did call my neighbor's father at the hospital and told him, "You do need to come over." You and your parents need to come over. My mom wants to talk to you guys. He was like, what? Tell me, tell me, tell me. We're going to come, but tell me what's wrong. And I was like, well, my mom wants to tell you guys to so just come. He was like, I think you're pregnant. And I was like, well, I love you. And then we hung up. Uh, by the way, me and my baby's father were together two years before this. We have been together since we were 11, and we still are together. So, anyways, we did get to my house about 12 midnight, 1230-ish, and they did come. They did. It was him, his mom, and dad, and his older sister. Well, anyways, my mom opened up and said, my daughter's pregnant. And I'm not, I'm not really sure um, what his mom was thinking, but his mom didn't really seem like, she was like, okay, like, what can we do? Well, that's how everyone's, like, reaction got afterwards, because, like I said, abortion wasn't really the option and i don't think they thought of us giving it up not an it sorry my baby's not an it but thought of us giving my baby up for adoption so they were just like okay well they did this they basically lied it they basically i don't know they basically we basically did this on our own so it's our responsibility we have to take care of it but us being 13 was really nothing we could have did like it was hard to get a job my baby's father did start going to work with his dad, though. Landscaping. But for me, it was hard to get a job. I was, I'm pregnant. I'm 13 years old. So my mom did help me. My, my mom helped me through it all. Through it all. So after that, me and my baby's father walked outside. And he hugged me. He cried. He said, don't worry. He was going to be there for me. He was going to be there for me through it all. Um, he was scared but he was happy that i had his baby that i had his first baby and everything so we just went on with that and we went out through my pregnancy um he did move in with us for a little bit and it was it was a good pregnancy i had a good pregnancy um my baby came july 14th of 2011 um she was full she was two weeks late this little girl was stubborn she did not want to come out so she was two weeks late i did have her with the six six hours um i went from three centimeters to eight centimeters within 40 minutes um i did not get no epidural i just all i had in my IV was water to hydrate me but i had labor i took labor like a champ so anyways well, that's my story on how I found out I was 13. That was my reaction. That was my mom's reaction, my baby's father, and his family's reaction. So, if you would like to know anything else, then just let me know in the comments below. And, by the way, I do have four kids now. I am only 20 years old. I got pregnant at 15 again. I also got pregnant at 17 again and 18 again. So if you guys would like to know those stories and how my mom reacted this time, finding out I was pregnant again for my, with my second child at the age of 15, then just keep on watching. And just let me know. Comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to make those videos. And yeah, I also do have a channel with my baby's father. And though that's my kids too in that one. That's called the A and C squad. A and the little and sign. C squad. Just go check that out. I have challenges on there. I have about two pranks on there. And yeah. So subscribe. Comment down below what else you would like to see. Any questions you have for me. And I will make a Q&A video on me. If you guys would like to know anything else. Just let me know. And yeah. Thank you. Bye.